why do you feel ama why do you think that this is something that we need to talk about as Christians why don't we just like it's okay everyone knows what to do so why isn't it important to talk about it i i would say one none of us know what to do <laughs> um the exact opposite of everyone knows what to do um i think no matter whether you are sexually active or not or you've uh, been caught in adultery or not or you <clears throat> are into pornography or not all of us are sexually broken because we are sexual people who are in a broken world and so to some degree all of us are sexually broken so that is one reason we need to talk about it and i also think the the more i've talked about this and learned about it and prayed about it and sought the lord about it i think um as with anything in life um but especially especially because sexual sin can be so damaging to us um we have to start before we even get to um yeah what's the right thing to do or what's the line that we can cross or any of those conversations you end up having and saying that one of one of my favorite uh teachers on this is his name is Paul David Tripp a pastor in the US and he says the four most important words about sex is the first four words of the bible in the beginning god and so if we're if we're willing to give our salvation as if we want to talk about young believers our our eternity to the lord um and trust him with our eternity then why wouldn't we trust him with how he intends sex to be done he created everything the bible says all things were created by him and through him and for him so sex itself is something he gave to us he created so he knows best so we need to be talking about what god sees um so when you ask the question to joan of how do we define sexual purity um god defines it uh not whatever we think